Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The first thing that I may want to address is the following. This is the first video I've uploaded since I have 10,000 subscribers. Oh yes. I'm very thankful for all of you subscribing to my channel and viewing my videos. It means a lot to me. And I mean that. Now, there was a video about Atlas Moths I made that went a little bit viral. It got like 30,000 views in a few days time. And it brought a lot of new subscribers to my channel, bringing the number over 10,000 finally. And we are going to celebrate it with a few special videos. However, I need a few weeks to prepare them. You see, I didn't expect to have 10,000 subscribers this fast. I was planning to have it around June or July at the normal rate of growth for my channel. But now because I went a little bit viral, it is much earlier than normal. So now I'm caught a little bit off guard and I will do my best to finish the special videos as soon as I can. Follow my channel, you will see what I mean. Meanwhile, I want to show you this beautiful female of the Samia Cynthia. This is a wild Samia that came from Italy. And it is unlike the uh, inbred captive Samia Ricini. This is actually the wild species of Samia from Asia. And it is a beautiful, gorgeous female. I absolutely love this species. Its best food plant to use is the Ailantus, but it can also feed on Prunus, uh, Cherry or Privet, Ligustrum, uh, even sweet gum, Liquid Amber, Eucalyptus, Ricinus communis, or Castor oil, oil plant, and much more. A beautiful, amazing moth that I do hope to breed pretty soon. And here is this species compared to an Atlas moth. Most of my subscribers came here because of the giant atlas moths. And as you can see, they're actually relatives. You can see it in their shape and size. Can you tell? The windows here in their wings, which somewhat compare to these lunate spots here at the Samia Cynthia. And, uh, well, can you see the differences? It's like these snake-like wingtips. So here I have Atacus Lorkini, a, a female. And, um... Uh, here are Samia Cynthia. I may show you the Atacus Lorkini. Now I probably don't have to tell you much facts about this giant, uh, this giant moth right here. Because I already made a big video about this species like two days ago and I don't have to tell you the facts all over again. But I thought it would be interesting to show you a comparison between these guys. But that's not all of it. There's even a third species. Now this is Samia Luzonica from the Philippines. And it's in the same genus Samia as this moth here, but as you can see, they are two different species. Now they are a male and female, so the size difference is because also because of the gender, because females are always bigger than males. But they are also two different species, a male of Samia Luzonica and a female of Samia Cynthia. So now here I have three species from the same family, can you see it? Two from the genus Samia and one from the genus Atacus. And as you can see, they're all one big fa big family. Some of these species can even pair with each other, probably not with the giant atlas, but these Samias probably can. So I'll probably put them back now. Maybe they can pair tonight, uh, even though I have Luzonica and Cynthia female. It's uh, been told that they maybe can crossbreed, I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my channel. This was a quick video. Uh, I have some very big videos coming up soon, but you'll you'll have to find out yourself What a beauty, huh? It's all one big family